Okay, we let the eyes dry for a while. So you can see that the plaster set up. We had seepage around the eye, which sometimes happens. So you just take a little tool, or you can use a small screwdriver, and you just want to scrape that off of there. And it comes right off. Do it, just do it gently so you don't hurt your eyeball. Keep going around till you get that off of there. We got that off of there. So now the eyeball's okay. That's okay. Just take a, a damp cloth and wipe it down when you're done there. Now before you do the mouth, what you might have to do, you might have to sand some of this off in here because just the thickness of the paint sometimes can cause it to catch and you don't want that to happen. So we wipe that off. Uh, you might have to sand this down on the inside here. You might have to sand a little bit off on your sides here. Because sometimes, like I say, just that thickness of the paint will cause it to uh, catch. And you don't want it to catch. Okay, we're going to be using some Johnson's Paste Wax, what I'm using here. Any kind of paste wax will work. Um, so what we're going to do is put it, put a little wax on here. This just helps it to slide better. some on the front here so it doesn't catch with our teeth and you got to periodically do this uh, you can use a q-tip to squeeze in on the sides there if you need to we're going to put wax in here I say this is just preventative it just helps it to slide better put some on this side We'll do, put a little on the teeth so our teeth don't catch with the paint. And then on the back, 
our half inch dowel. We're going to put some on here so the string slides a little better up and over. Like I say, you can take a Q-tip if you need to and just go in the trim it down and go in the sides to do it, or you can take the back of the head off to do it also. Okay, we're going to hook the mouth up. We're going to make sure this mouth is working properly before we seal it all up because you don't want to have to take it all apart again just because the mouth is starting to catch. So you want to make sure that it's working before you seal it up. So we're going to start by tying our 24 inch piece of string on here. And to keep it from coming unraveled I'm going to put a staple in here. That'll keep it good. So we'll do that. We're going to take our we have our three inch spring we're going to use. We're going to hook our three inch spring up. So now we'll put it together, make sure it's not catching anywhere. Hook our spring up to the top of the head to our hook. that in there. I'm going to attach the mouth in the back again. If you enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe on my YouTube page. I'd appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, put it in my comment section. I'll get back with you. This is one of the uh, most important parts. You want to make sure that mouth's working properly. You don't want to be up there doing a show and then having your mouth sticking on you. okay with that. I'm going to check our string. Check our tension on the string here. And that is working correctly. That's what we wanted. So now we can hook the back of the mouth up. And then we can get ready to attach the weight. Thanks for watching. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. We have our one inch ring. Uh, we tie this on. And I find this works good for either hand either your finger or your thumb, whichever you prefer. Uh, all my figures that I used had the ring lever on it, and I really liked it. 
because it worked really well. 